Hi. Today we are going to discuss another proof method, which is proof by cases. Proof by cases. Suppose we have to prove a theorem of this form: h1 disjunction h2 disjunction h3 etc. disjunction hn implies c. That is the left hand side is the uh, disjunction of the hypothesis h1 h2 etc. hn. So we know this implication is logically equivalent to h1 implies c conjunction h2 implies c conjunction etc conjunction hn implies c because we have this left hand side of this implication is true means h1 is true or h2 is true or h3 is true etc or hn is true because uh, this is the disjunction of the hypothesis h1 h2 etc hn so this uh, this left hand side has a truth value t if uh, either h1 has a truth value t or h2 has a truth value t etc that means uh, it, it is h1 is uh, true or h2 is true or h3 is true etc or h1 is true at least any one of them is true then this left hand side is true right so this implication is actually the kind of disjunction of this hypothesis implies c that means this is logically equivalent to h1 implies c conjunction h2 implies c conjunction h3 implies c etc hn implies c that is e implication true on the paran and then like e implication the left hand side true on the then then e h1 h2 h3 etc hn either a thing you know one true i'll then it in the truth value or true out t out e theorem for in the down signal e left hand side true on angle then conclusion is also true that is the theorem. So, if the true of one of the one of the one of the true of the one 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 of the true of the one 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 of the h2 implies c and etc hn implies c that is this is a conjunction adu kondu then ee theorem prove cheyan vendittu namaku idil ore odum true aanannu prove cheyada mathi that is this implication is true if and only if uh, each of these implication is true that is this is true this is true this is true because this uh, implication is logically equivalent to this appo so, ee implication the truth value t on the word in the implication the truth value t is here if the conjunction is going to be in the truth value t on angle is the true icon is the true icon etc you are all implications on the true icon so this implication is true if and only if each of these implication is true so consequently we need to prove that each implication is true so, this is true one and the proven and the theorem true one and the proven and the case is one of the case. That is, one of the hypothesis is the implied chain and the proof is the same. That is uh, a proof by cases. Now, we can discuss an example. Let A, B, and C be three inhabitants of the island as we discussed in the previous examples. That is, inhabitants are either knaves or knights. Two inhabitants are of the same type if they are both knights or both knaves. That is, the inhabitants of the islands are either knights or knaves. We know these inhabitants of this island are either knights or knaves. So, knights always tell truth and knaves always lie. Two inhabitants are of the same type if they are both uh, knights or they are both uh, knaves. Suppose A says B is a nerve and B says A and C are of the same type. A says B is a nerve and B says A and C are of the same type. Now we have to show that C is a nerve. This example is actually uh, not in the explicit form of this H1 uh, disjunction H2 disjunction etc. Hn implies C. 
This is not in this form actually, uh, but we, we can uh, construct some cases here. We can consider two cases. Consider two cases. Case one, suppose A is a knight. Suppose A is a knight. That means A always tell truth. So here we have A says that B is a nerve. So this statement is true. Therefore, B is a nerve. Since A is knight and he says that B is a nerve. So this statement is uh, true. Therefore, uh, B is a nerve. That is, B is always lie. That means uh, the statement of B is uh, false. That is, the four statement of B is false. That is, A and C are of the same type. That is the statement of B. So, this statement is false. Therefore, A and B are of the different type. Sorry, A and C are of the different different types. So since A is a knight, so C will be a nerve. So since A is a knight, we have C is a nerve. So in the first case, that is, uh, if A is a knight, then uh, C is a nerve. Now in the second case. Case 2, suppose A is a nerve. That means A always lie. So, since A says that B is a nerve, so this statement is uh, false. So, therefore, A's statement is, is false. Uh, the A, A statement is actually uh, B is a nerve, so B is a knight. Therefore, B is a knight. Therefore, uh, B always tell truth. Tell truth. So, since B says that A and C are of the same type, this is true. The statement. Therefore, B's statement uh, A and C are of same type is true. So this statement is true that means A and C are of same type. So since A is a nerve we have C is also nerve. Therefore since A is a nerve we have C is also a nerve. So in either case, we uh, obtain that uh, C is a nerve. Therefore, in both cases, we have C is a nerve. Next, we can discuss another example. Prove by cases, n square plus n is an even integer where n is an arbitrary integer. So here, suppose n is an arbitrary integer. Then we can consider two cases, n is even and n is odd. An integer is either even or odd. So we can consider these two cases. First case is uh, n is even. So case one, n is even. So, since n is even, we have n is equal to some 2k where k is an integer. That is, if n is even, then we can express n as some 2 into k where k is an integer. So, therefore, n square plus n is equal to 2k whole square plus 2k. This is equal to 4k square plus 2k. Now we can take 2 outside. 
So 2 into 2 k square plus k. Since k is an integer, we have 2 k square plus k is again an integer. So this is equal to some 2 into m where m is equal to 2 k square plus k is an integer because k is an integer. So n square plus n can be written as 2m. So therefore n square plus n is an even integer. So in the first case we proved that n square plus n is an uh, even integer. Now the second case is n is odd. n is an odd integer. Therefore we can express n as some 2k plus 1 where k is an integer. Therefore what about n square plus n? n square plus n is equal to 2k plus 1 all square plus n is 2k plus 1. So this is equal to expanding this we get 4k square plus 2 into 2k into 1 that is uh, 4k plus 1 square is 1 plus 2k plus 1. So this is equal to 4k square plus 4k plus 2k is 6k plus 2. So from this also we can take 2 outside. So 2 into 2k square plus 3k plus 1. Since uh, k is an uh, integer, we have 2k square plus 3k plus 1 is uh, again an integer. So this can be written as 2 into m where m is equal to 2k square plus 3k plus 1 is an integer. Therefore, n square plus n again can be expressed as a, uh, a multiple of 2. Therefore, n square plus n is an even integer. So in both cases, we uh, proved that n square plus n is, is an even integer. Therefore, in both cases, we have n square plus n is an even integer. We can do one more example. Prove by cases, absolute value of minus x is equal to absolute value of x so here also we can consider two cases uh, first case is x is greater than or equal to 0 and the second case is x is less than 0 so case 1 uh, for any real number x we can consider these two cases so case 1 x is greater than or equal to 0 since x is greater than or equal to 0 we have mod x is equal to x itself and uh, since x is greater than or equal to 0 uh, we have negative x is less than uh, or equal to 0. Therefore, we have absolute value of negative x is equal to negative of that negative x that is equal to x itself. Because we know uh, the definition of modulus of x or absolute value of x is x if x is greater than or equal to 0 and it is negative of x if x is less than 0. So here, uh, first case is x is greater than or equal to 0 therefore uh, modulus of x is itself that is x uh, and uh, since x is greater than or equal to 0 we have negative x is less than or equal to 0 therefore absolute value of that negative x is negative of negative x by the definition of the uh, absolute value of x therefore we have mod x is equal to uh, modulus of minus x so that is the first case now in the second case case 2 uh, if x is less than 0 if x is less than 0 therefore we have uh, absolute value of x is equal to negative of x by this definition and uh, since x is less than 0 we have negative of x is equal is negative of x is uh, greater than 0 therefore uh, we have absolute value of negative x is, is equal to this is since neg have a negative x is greater than 0 therefore uh, absolute value of uh, that is itself that is, is equal to negative of x. Therefore, from these two we get absolute value of negative x is equal to absolute value of x itself. Therefore, in both cases we have absolute value of negative x is equal to absolute value of x. Now, you can try to do these problems yourself. 
these two problems we already discussed the others you just try to do